Hi. Now we are going to solve the work example nine. We have a top here, and the mass is 0 0.5 kilogram, half kilograms, and it is processing. You can see about the vertical axis at a constant angle. So the angle is constant, 60 degrees, and spinning with a constant uh, spin rate, 100 radians per second. So we are assuming that the axial and transverse moments of inertia of the top are given uh, 0 0.45 and 1.20, 10 to minus 3 kilograms meter squared. And we need to determine the precession omega p. So what is that precession? What is that omega p or phi dot, the rate of precession? We are going to find out that. The first thing you can notice is that actually the motion is can be defined as steady precession because our omega s is constant. It is not changing. And also our angle uh theta angle theta is 60 degrees this is also constant therefore you can identify the motion as a steady precession and now we can create a free body diagram of the top here you can see we have point g and we have our weight uh, 4.905 newtons you can see the distance here we have a fixed point or of rotation point O. And you can see our capital X, capital Y, and capital Z uh, inertial frames, inertial reference frame. And also you can see X, Y, and Z frame, which is rotating. Okay. And since our motion is a uh, steady precession, motion is steady precession so we know our equations that we uh, discussed earlier in our lecture video so let's write down this equation here we are writing moments around the x axis which is equal to minus i p dot squared sine theta cosine theta plus i z p dot sine theta p dot cos theta plus c dot. So now we can establish the first thing. I am again trying to follow uh, a solution procedure step by step. So we need to first establish coordinate axis. Okay. The Positive Z, positive Z axis, you can see it is in the direction of uh, spin. So we have a spin here. Uh, so this is our spin. So our top is spinning and our positive Z axis is along the spin uh, direction. And positive Z here, you can see positive uh, Z axis is along the direction of precession and the positive x axis here you can see in the direction of uh, total moment m x therefore or let's let's write down these things so positive small z axis in direction of spin Direction of 
pin. Positive capital Z axis in direction of recession and positive positive x small x axis in direction of total mx okay so therefore we can write our equation therefore our equation becomes zero uh, four nine oh five times zero point zero five sine theta so what is it the, this is this is the moment about uh, the x axis and uh, only force actually we have here the omega uh, weight force and uh, which is also equal to nine four 905 times obviously the distance 0 0.05 times sine uh, 60 degrees so this is our the moment and the reason why it is positive you can see that uh, this moment tries to rotate x around the x axis in this direction and when you curl your fingers uh, with this rotation, you can see that your fingers are curling from Y to positive Y to positive Z. Therefore, this is also a positive moment about the X axis. Now, let's write down our, so uh, we are following uh, the equation now right hand side. So minus, we have now I, which is 1.20, 1.20 times 10 to minus three, we dot squared and sine, t, sine theta, which is 60, cos 60, 60 degrees, plus we have iz given in uh, our problem 0 0.45 times 10 to minus 3 phi dot sine theta which is sine 60 degrees times we have phi dot cosine 60 plus our spin uh, our spin rate which is 100 radians per second so this equation this equation equates to e dot squared minus 120 p dot plus 6 5 4 equal to zero, this is a quadratic equation. And we can solve this equation and we can find out uh, what is our phi dot. So we can find out solving, solving the quadratic equation. For precession, you can get obviously two different values for p dot, which is 114 radians per second and 5.72 radians per second. And we call this one high precession. And the second one, you can see this is lower uh, rate. So this is called 
flow per session. So this is the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful.